What's up guys, Hunter McIntyre here and we are at Withouse London. I'm gonna give the Puma Fuse a little bit of a test out. We're gonna go through some workouts, see how it feels, and uh, we're gonna test it to the best. So, test number one, we're gonna do the backflip test. I'm not the best at these, but it's key to understand if you can do a backflip in shoes, so if you can show off. Let's see. We got the rotation, we stuck the landing. Next time, I'll perfect it. Uh, but we're feeling, pre we're, pre we're feeling pretty good so far. Shoelaces are still on, still got some grip. Um, so if you guys are training for a high rocks, like you gotta understand we're gonna be doing running, but a lot of it's gonna be in the gym. So you gotta have a really, really great run running and gym shoe. One of my favorite movements is obviously gonna be a burpee. Um, if you don't have the length of a gym to do the burpee broad jump like in a high rocks, one of my favorite moves is just to do a burpee to bar touch. So I'm gonna show you guys five quick ones, rotate through it. Test number two, piece of cake. Really good grip, really good stability. Uh, if you guys are practicing those at home, I think it's really important to start with a shorter bar, work your way up to a taller bar. The higher you jump, the more you're gonna work on that broad jump. Um, another thing I wanna really work on is this little bit of explosiveness. We're gonna work on a box jump right now. Really gotta have that power and endurance in the legs. I myself either go high repetition or height. So we're just gonna hit a couple of these bad boys. Just because I wanna be more athletic, we're gonna do box jump overs. So we got pretty good lateral stability here. Nice, pretty good. Um, as I said before, you guys wanna challenge yourselves. I like to stack a uh, box up like this. Once I get this jump down, I add some plates on top just to make things a little bit more challenging. I'll show you guys real quick. Whoa. Spice it up a little bit. Why not go for gold if you can? We're gonna work on power. Whoa, I almost lost her. Really good grip, really good power, really good stability. Um, another one, since we already have this gear out here, we like to work on wall balls. If you don't have a wall ball, one of my favorite moves is just to take a plate. You can work on thrusters. I like to hold it right in front of my chin like this, squat down, press up. So, normally in a high rocks, you guys are gonna be chucking wall balls hitting the target. Skill 1.0 is basically, you have to work on that squat. Skill 2.0 is being able to work the squat and the press over the head. That's why we start with a plate. Skill 3.0 would be getting that wall ball, coming over here, squatting down, and nailing the target. And uh, beyond that, guys, like obviously, there's a couple more co components in high rocks, like sled push, sled pull, rowing, ski erg, farmer carry, but these are the ones that really it's key to have a really great shoe. And uh, obviously we did it all, backflips, squats, burpees, high jumps, and uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I like the shoe so far. So I'm gonna give you guys my athlete review of this. Uh, obviously Puma right here, you know, a lot of CrossFit shoes out there. Reason why this one's unique and good for me is if you notice, we have a ton of flexibility up here. Some of these shoes are so rigid from the back all the way to the front, it doesn't really allow that kind of flexibility and range of motion that you're gonna be having when you're competing in sport or training in the gym. But then the rigidity is actually back here through the structure of this, and that's when it comes to that kind of really strong work, heavy weight lifting. It's important to have. It's lightweight, it's good looking, kind of actually reminds me more of like a tennis shoe than an actual trainer. And I think sometimes when you want to have fashion meets function, uh, I think this is a really good looking shoe. So. If you guys want to try it out, you just kind of come out here to Withouse London. We have tons of these shoes waiting for you. Um, obviously, once you get a pair of these, the next stage is going to a high rocks. We got one coming up September 25th in London. We hope to see you guys there.